A today's special episode of Poll Walk takes you to what is probably the richest constituency in the country, and that's South Mumbai. That's where we catch up with the Aam Aadmi Party candidate, Meera Sanyal. You tell me how life has changed because and how many cup of tea you are having because you go a lot of <laughs> political rallies, you are meeting several people. So how life has changed for you first of all? So because you've given me a cup of tea, so I'm accepting it. Otherwise, I don't actually drink tea and coffee. I prefer to have water. I drink a lot of water, approximately five to six liters a day. What's been the basic agenda uh, of you being a politician from a banker? Well, clearly, I think it's important that I do address the women's issues. And I'm very proud that the Aam Aadmi Party has given us the opportunity uh, to rise on merit. Okay. So the women candidates that you see in the Aam Aadmi Party are all there because of merit and they are strong women candidates. We come from different backgrounds, but I think we all bring something important to the table. And as you know from my own background, I really very strongly believe in issues of women's economic empowerment. Uh, how, how are you going to make a change now? Because you are contesting against Milind Devra. Milind Devra represents the youth. As it been said, he is a union minister and he is being sitting MP as well. And you have lost the election in 2009. So what makes you uh, bring back again from the South Mumbai scene? Let me start by saying Milind Deira does not represent the youth. What he represents is the Deira family and the interests of the Deira family. He doesn't represent the interests of South Mumbai and that's very evident on the streets. Yes, I lost in 2009. It was a 40-day campaign. But I learned a lot. And all those learnings are being put into the, the field right now. What I can tell you is what the constituents are telling me. They haven't seen Milan Dera in 10 years and they certainly want to change. Uh, what's your biggest, uh, bigger po political goal if you, if you win the election? What will be our next goal? What we want is that the entire political system raises its standards. And actually I'm very distressed to see that still in the last list of people that have been nominated that the major political parties are still nominating people with criminal cases against them. How do you manage your family? Because you also have a family, so you've been a banker earlier. So you have given very less time to your family. So how do you manage both politics and family? You know, I'll, I'll tell you, and I used to say this as a banker because people always ask about work-life balance. Uh, I think many of us, it's not just me, and especially women, you, you are the primary caregiver, so you do have to devote time to your family and that's something I love to do. I mean, I, I love my family. But the way I have managed it is, I have not tried to be perfect at anything. I was not a perfect banker, I'm not a perfect mom, I'm not a perfect wife. I'm, you know, I, I'm, I'm like, I'm saying, okay, it's okay to be average at whatever, work very hard at it. And when I was at work, I would not bring my family life into that. I would finish my day's work and then go home. And when I'm at home, I don't bring my work life into, you know, into that. And I'm doing the same with politics. So there's home time and there is, you know, service time. And I'm keeping those two things very separate. One thing, the first thing which you will change after becoming a member of parliament, if you win the elections. The first thing that I will change is that I will go to parliament. I will attend parliament. I will ask questions in the question hour. I will do my job as a parliamentarian. I think the real tragedy of the 15th Lok Sabha is that they have not done their job, neither the Congress nor the BJP. They have worked for a total of 350 days in a period of five years. That's less than one year in five years. This is shocking. The number of bills that have been passed in this parliament is the lowest ever since independence. That's the first thing I would do. I would do my job.